Hello, I'm Veronique, and today I'm going to present the recipe for a chocolate fondant cake. It's a very easy recipe, and who doesn't love a chocolate cake? So, for this recipe, we'll need about three-fourths of a cup of butter that we are going to melt in a pot which we will then melt with the chocolate. So I'm putting the large chunks of butter over low heat. And again, low heat, so that it doesn't burn and clarify. And we do not want that. And we'll let that melt slowly. So during this time, we can uh, mix the flour donc, comme ceci, directement, avec with le sucre, the sugar, voilà, de baking powder, voilà, and four eggs. Alors, so I'm going to put the eggs over here, and I'm going to crack them one at a time to check that they're fresh. This one's good. So is this one. And again, this is a recipe that's really fast. You can actually make uh, make the dough ahead of time and leave it in the fridge, and then you can bake it at the last minute. So we'll mix this, and our butter is melting. It's almost done. I'll turn down the heat a little. So we'll beat all this together. The eggs, the flour, the sugar, and the baking powder to get a really smooth dough. Oops, Oops. there's them on the side. And now our butter should be practically melted. I'm just going to stir it a little. There's still some chunks that haven't melted. And now we can pretty much mix the chocolate right in with the butter. So for the chocolate, I recommend that you get at least minimum 60% co cocoa. This is so that you have a really strong chocolatey flavor. This is because the chocolate loses, uh, loses a lot of flavor during baking. So it's important to buy at least 60% cocoa. So our butter is melted, we'll pull it off the heat, and what we'll do, we'll put the chocolate directly in the pot to melt it. And, and we're, trying to, we're trying not to heat the chocolate too quickly because, because we risk burning it. And then we'd get something of a mixture of part chocolatey oil, part cocoa, and part bits of burnt chocolate. Now, so we put it in the pot that's already hot, because if we'd put it in a cold pot, the thermal shock would render our cake a little less creamy and smooth. So now we stir gently, over low heat, the chocolate is melting slowly. Une 
And now once the chocolate is mel melted, we can then combine everything. And then we can leave all of that in the fridge all afternoon until dinner. So our chocolate's practically melted. And now you don't have to get chocolate chips as I used. You can use a chocolate bar. Now, but just be sure that all the pieces are about the same size so that it all melts at the same rate. So the chocolate is melted. And now we can we can combine it with our dry mixture. And I'm going to try and get all the chocolate in there. And now we mix chocolate with everything else. And now you can use as much chocolate if, as you want. If you love chocolate, you may want to add a lot more than I did. You can also use milk chocolate. However, never with white chocolate. Um, white chocolate is not a true chocolate. So you won't, you won't be able to taste the white chocolate flavor. So the only tricky thing with this recipe, with the recipe of a fondant, is the baking. So preheat the oven to about 325-330 degrees Fahrenheit and check on the cake as it's baking because if it cooks too long, it will become a chocolate brick. So our mixture is done and we can now, we can now put it in a pan. So you can either make small individual cakes with a muffin tin or one large cake. The one difficult thing with a large cake is that given the fondant, which means melting in French, the cake is very, very soft and melty. So if you make small fondants, little ramekins are perfect to serve them in. So I'm going to put mine in pastry cups. Donc on va les dresser en cercle. So I'm going to use these pastry cups. Vous n'êtes pas obligé d'investir non plus dans des cercles. But you don't have to use the same as mine. Muffin tin is good too. Au fondant. Donc là, on a pris quatre cercles. So I'm making four. On va partir la pâte. And using my spoon, I'll fill my cups. Dans les différents moules. Vous remplissez à peu près à hauteur. And fill to about halfway. Because with the baking powder, the, these fondants will rise. They'll actually come up to, a, to the top of my tin. So the little fondants are ready. We'll put them directly into the oven for about 10 minutes, but check on them, definitely. So now we just have to wait for our cakes to bake. Okay, so about 10 minutes have gone by since we put the fondants in the oven and checking on them regularly, of course. We can now pull them out and they're practically ready to eat. Okay, so as I'd said, they've risen. The sum have risen well above. Now, since I put mine in my pastry cups, I can now place them on their serving dish. 
en faisant attention. And be careful not to burn yourself. Voilà, comme ceci. Hop. Alors, comme je vous ai dit, c'est les fondants. Donc And as fondant in French means melting, sensible. they're very soft. And I'm going to make sure that it didn't stick. Alors là, vous allez pouvoir soit les servir avec Now you can either serve them with a little bit of crème anglaise. Il y a des personnes qui aiment bien les Or some aussi. really like a fruit coulis, which changes it up a little bit. Ou alors, moi, je, je, je les adore tout simplement I love avec them with, with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Vanille. I think it's classic. Bien le And I love the delicious hot cold theme, the contrast. Et voilà. So you made your fondant. I hope you like this recipe. I wish you a bon appétit. And I'll see you soon.